makes history from the shelter to the white house by jill twist illustrated by maribel luchega hi friends my name is major and i'm going to tell you how i rescued a president but wait i'm getting ahead of myself first let me tell you about me i am a dog, but you could probably tell that already. You seem pretty on the ball for a person. Actually, I am a German Shepherd, which some people say means I'm loyal and courageous. I think it means I'm a really good friend. Right now, I live in a very fancy house called the White House. I live here with the President of the United States, the First Lady, and my good pal, Champ. But I didn't always live in such a swanky place. When I was a puppy, my brothers and sisters and I didn't have a family who could take care of us, so we were left at an animal shelter. An animal shelter is for pets who do not have homes yet. It's also a place where dogs like me can rescue the families that need us. It was at that shelter where all the fun started. You know how sometimes you meet someone and you just know you're going to be best friends? Well, that was me and Joe. When Joe walked into the shelter, I noticed him right away. I could tell that he was missing something, and I had a sneaking suspicion that something might be me. I ran up to take a good sniff and say hello. Ruff, ruff, I said. I know, said Joe. Bark, bark, ruff, bark, bark, ruff, 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 I said. Sometimes I feel exactly the same way, said Joe. Bark, 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 I barked. Yes, said Joe thoughtfully. I think I will call you Major. And then I saw a sparkle in his eyes. That was when I knew I was going to rescue Joe Biden. How do you rescue a person, you ask? Good question. First, you sniff them out to make sure they're a good fit. And when you know, you know. If they pass the sniff test, go home with them, just to try things out. After all, taking care of a person isn't easy. You play games with your person, like peeing on every good spot in the yard, or guess who hid my very best toy in your bed. You learn that walk means woohoo! It is time to take your person outside. You do your best to sit when your person asks you to, even if you don't feel like it at all. That's because sometimes you do things just to make your person happy. Oh, and when you see that your person is working too hard, you sneak into the bathroom cupboard Chew up some toilet paper and scatter it all over the house to show them that you are ready to party down. And most important, when your person is sad, you cuddle up to them and put your nose right on their knee. That is how you rescue a person. When I got to Joe's house, I met another dog who was excited to show me around the place. His name is Champ. Together, we did our best to make Joe the happiest guy around. After I had been at Joe's house for a few months, it was time to make it official. That meant going back to the shelter to sign some papers saying that Joe and I were adopting each other. We even saw a few old friends. Then I went home with Joe for Not too long after I rescued Joe Biden, he was elected President of the United States. Coincidence? 
Well, I don't think so. Because when you rescue someone, you help them become their very best self. Now Champ and I live with Joe and Jill at the White House. There are so many new people that sometimes I get too excited. I even had a friend help me learn to behave myself a little better. We have a great time together. We help in the garden. We defend the house from our most ferocious enemy. When we are feeling especially dignified, we have afternoon tea. And because Joe has a tough job, sometimes we check in on him to see if he needs our help. If you and your family feel like you might need a dog or a cat to rescue you, I think an animal shelter might be worth checking out because I know that Joe Biden will care for our country and in the meantime, Champ and I will care for Joe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit us at www.akc.org slash public education.